Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Uh, today we're going to do a comparison between <clears throat> Klein 2's ET600 uh, insulation tester made here in the US, USA. And we're going to do a comparison against um, this insulation tester made in India. The name of the company is R Rishab, or Rishab, R -I it's in the spell R-I-S-H-A-B-H. -H and uh, I guess it's Rich Ob. Well, anyway, this, this is their insulation 20 um, um, and multimeter. Okay, and the Klein here is a true RMS, and this one isn't. Isn't. The uh, Rich Ob isn't a, a true RMS. It's an average range of multimeter, also. Okay, so we're going to just do a comparison. I won't get too deep into it because I'm not set up like that to do that, but. I just want to do a comparison between the two. So I'm going to entitle this one, this video, United States of America versus India. With just these insulation testers, y'all. Just the insulation testers. So United States of America versus India. Okay, so I'm going to start with this, with the ones India first. Um, this, this one is... As far as weight wise, it's, it's, it's okay. It feel kind of solid. It feels solid with the with the boot on, with the rubber boot on it. But what I noticed was, I'm gonna turn it around. Just without the boot, I mean, the the meter doesn't feel as solid. Let me put that on. I'm gonna just give show you how much it weighs, how much this boot weighs, and then we just move on with the rest of the features. And you know, I just want to see for myself. Okay, what is that? Seven ounces, seven and a half ounces, but alone. Okay, and this is the, the meter, and it takes six AA batteries. I can feel the weight of it right here. It's, it's, it's really light. It feels kind of light, y'all, but seven and a half, and now it's a pound, um, a pound point four, 1.04 pounds, ounce, one pound four out 45 ounces. I guess it'll be, yeah. Okay, uh, one pound point 45 ounces. Okay, but anyway, this and together, let me just see how much it weighs together between the two. I mean, with the boot on. One pound eight ounces. Okay, so, but this, this, and this one has features starting from the 50 volt uh, range up until up into the 1,000 kilovolt range. It also has a feature uh, uh, continuity, resistance, and AC/DC voltage. They have they have a feature on here about a time set or set time. I don't know what that's for, uh, but anyway, it also have a bar graph that goes right here, and it goes up to 10 gig ohms. That's a lot. But I don't know, I don't see any where this thing has been tested by any kind of accredited labs. I'm not saying that, that, that it won't work, but I don't see no stamps on here at all saying that it's been, except for this, this, this CE. And, uh, you know, I see that in a lot of meters now. You can see that on a pencil, CE. So uh, I don't go by that. And, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of. You know, but um, I did some research on this company, and they're like I said, they're out of India, and now I'm starting to see that a lot of you may have heard of the uh, the uh, multimeter or the, or the company called Gossen Metrowatt. Well, this company is starting to make multimeters for uh, Gossen Metrowatt, and what I mean by that, gotcha, uh, Gossen Metrowatt have two multimeters on the market right now. In fact, I do have the, the model number of them. Uh, model number M206A digital multimeter. That's one. And the other one is Gossen Metrowatt M205A uh, a true, true RMS digital multimeter. The one that's two, I'm gonna show it to you. That's the same multimeter that we're looking at right here. See those two. 
I don't know if you can see that or not, but that one and that one. And it's by uh, Gosson Metrowatt. And it's $404 for the, the, uh, the two M206A. And it's uh, $257 for the M205. And this is the same company right here. But that's just the digital multimeter. And both of these are digital multimeters, and this is the same. This is just, and this is the insulation tester. So, uh, you know, I don't know. This this may be the ultimate company that's in uh, that's inside India for this uh, making this, this 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 instrument. Like I said, I did some research on, online, and from the way it looked like it's a reputable company, but. Uh, and I did. I also read that they're doing that. They uh, the 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 spaceship SpaceX. I think they made some test instruments to go on board of that um, uh, spaceship. I read that. So, but anyway, with the with the boot on here, it feels kind of good. With the boot off, it's it's you know mediocre, lightweight kind of. It it doesn't feel all that hot. The good heavy to me. This rubber boot is real nice. I think it'll take a real uh, uh, take a fall. It'll protect it. These leads right here are really cheap. Uh, I wouldn't dare use them for anything. They're very cheap. Uh, but back to the uh, measurements, they also have a test right here. That's for when you're doing uh, insulation test. Okay, you put it on 50 volts right here or whatever, and you. Okay, it went all over the 10 giga ohms like it's supposed to because um, resistance. Okay, but it's, it's they don't have um, a PI measurement or a DAR measurement on here. And I guess that, 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 that time that's on here, in case you want to do it manually, that set that, that time clock that it has. Matter, in fact, if I can remember how to put it on. I think that was it. No, this was it right here. Wait. Nope, I don't remember. I don't remember. No, I don't remember. But anyway, they have a time. They have a count, a time on here, and I guess that's if you want to use it to do a DAR test or a, a, a PI test. So, and they have a backlight. Let me turn it on here. Let you guys see. It's, not, it's, it's, it's a green backlight. It's uh, you can see it. It's nice and clear. But when you get used to seeing the white light, the white backlight, you know, um, you, it's, it's to me it's a little bit better. But uh, this is not bad. This, of course, the backlight is concerned. And um, so it's not much to really say about this meter itself. And let me see. And this is the on and off button. And that's about it. There's really not much more you can... Let me turn these lights on. Really not much more about this meter. And again, like I said, this is from India. And I guess this is their flagship multimeter. I mean, a flagship uh, test instrument company over there. I'm not sure, but... Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, no, I'm going to let you guys rate it. Let you guys rate it. And so I'm going to put that right here. And we can discuss the USA, which would be the Klein 2s right here. Klein, this this boot right here doesn't come on. It's integrated onto the, 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 uh, the body of the multimeter. And this have test voltages from 125 to 1,000 volts, and you have volts AC, DC, continuity, and resistance. It's about the same that you have on here. You have zero, you can zero it out on here. You can zero it out on here. Also, you have min-max. You have a hold button and a backlight, which will be right there. Let me turn this off again, so I'm gonna show you all quickly, and I can get back to the other stuff. That's the backlight. Compared to, where's the backlight? Hmm. 
Yo, I forgot how to do the, the backlight again. Uh, there we go. There we go. Compare the two. Okay, and um, okay, and the flute. I mean, uh, this this Klein has a lot of features, a lot of features compared to this one. The price range for this one, I think, is a um, it's like over a hundred dollars. I don't know just how much. I I got a good deal on it on on eBay. Uh, I I was looking to buy the multimeter just to you know do a review on it. And they wind up sending me this one instead for a low, low price. So, uh, you know, you know, I got a good deal on that. Now, this one here, the Klein, has a lock button, um, test button. Like I said, min max, backlight zero, and a hold button. And this one cost me like $149, $39.49. And have a, a strap this one has one also put a strap through there and a place for your leads and this one has it also a place for the leads you put your test lead probes back there this one also take uh, I think it's six, uh, six double-a ba double-a batteries uh, and and it's true RMS now we're gonna have to pick one of these uh, it shouldn't be that hard to pick out which one that you would take in the field with you. That, that should be easy. Um, my pick out of the boat, it's not going to be hard at all. I will pick this one right here. The USA going to win this one. India have to step the game up and catch up to um, the, uh, what, what the U.S. has been putting out as far as this international tester. Um, and uh, and that's just it. You got to step the game up. Um, this is just a basic insulation tester right here. And uh, but I don't know. But again, I would I would pick the Klein out of these two. So okay, that's it, guys. I just wanted to make a quick review of uh, these two insulation testers. Um, USA, United States of America insulation tester, which will be Klein tubes, uh, and then compare it against in one of India's finest, which would be Rish Rish up Rish um, insulation twenty insulation tester. That being said, guys, leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you think you benefited from it. Uh, hit that uh, subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Also, if you think someone else may, uh, be, may be interested in this video, uh, share it and tell them to leave a comment. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and peace out.